Oh, like, I didn't even know y'all convinced her in the room. Like, I didn't think she was just Yeah, she came back. I'm like, no, you're a whore. I have sick. like a stuffy nose, my throat's really dry. But it was nice. I haven't really worked out. Oh, the strap. Oh, it's is okay. your camera okay? Yeah, my camera's fine. This is a good, it's a, it has a lot of padding. Oh, okay. Eric Wallen. This is my brother. Hey, hey. what's up, Little Lift <laughs> community? Yeah, facts. <laughs> How y'all doing? He's a photographer, so check him out if you need any work in the New York area. EricDargan.com. <laughs> no facts. We'll put that all in the description. Right there. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, sir. We're out of your hand. Have a good one. Take care. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I feel like we're just now formally introducing ourselves. You guys seen like a three, three days. days since we landed. <laughs> we're in Texas. San Antonio. To be exact. Home. Right. It's lit. So, let's play catch up. First, we finish our detox cleanse. I just wanted to touch up on that because I know it was in a vlog. Um, we posted on our stories a lot and all that good stuff. So you guys are definitely going to want to know how it ended up. We ended up doing nine days instead of ten because as we tracked it, we realized our tenth day would have been when we was traveling, which means like we wouldn't really be able to carry our smoothies on the plane or they wouldn't have been easily accessible for us to be like eating and drinking or whatever throughout our plane ride and all that good stuff. Next, what I really took from my cleanse and my detox was the fact that like it was more about discipline to me. For me, I felt that not like me and T were getting out of hand with eating unhealthy, but like <sighs> It was just a lot of like, like we were too cravings and yes, exactly, being comfortable and like just not really being like, yo, like I don't want to do this right now and actually sticking to it. So the fact that we did that for the nine days was amazing. I was excited. We both did it together. Even when I wanted to crack at moments, she was like, yo, we only have a couple of days left, blah, blah, blah. And it was amazing. On that note, we also just binge low key at the end, like after, like after we finished, we was just eating, like we ate airplane food when we was like, like after, and that's not ideal to do, but I just want to be like transparent with you guys. We were just hungry. We was like really hungry. We did, we woke up like really late for our flight. So like we couldn't pack like snacks and stuff like that the way we wanted to. So like we just had to buy food at the airport. So it is what it is. Um, it's not, I'm not saying this for you to guys to go do the same. I'm not saying this for you to like, like feel like we didn't take away anything from the cleanse. It's just to let you know what, how ours ended up. And like I'm saying, I just want to be transparent. But at the end of the day, I got what I got from the cleanse. It helped me out. It let me understand that I can be disciplined when I want to be disciplined. So that was amazing. Put your on your cleanse. Bro. Yeah, for me, um, it was a lot different than the last time I did the cleanse for like numerous reasons so last time i did the cleanse i was living at bc i was working downstairs and living upstairs so like i would make my smoothie go downstairs and work if i got hungry and run up you know grab a boiled egg drink some more smoothie and then i was at the gym and like this was the like i was doing steady state cardio 30 minutes every day like running on the treadmill just burning calories and that was like the summer that i i lost like 20 of my pounds so far i've lost like 30 something um but the bulk of my weight loss was during that summer and it it got kickstarted with this cleanse where i lost the initial 10 pounds and that was because i was like doing the cleanse and running 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 um all over the place now i'm like my metabolism is a little bit higher i've I, I have less to lose so i lost about three pounds during this cleanse and at first like when i wasn't seeing weight loss i was really confused and like i kind of just assessed the situation and i'm like well i'm not so much in a caloric deficit as i was last time like i'm not trying to lose the amount of weight like i wouldn't have wanted to lose 10 pounds this time because that would have almost been unhealthy it would have just been a lot of muscle loss at that point so 
I did feel my my body um, get feeling better. Like I felt pretty energetic. I did get we both got sick in the middle of it, <clears throat> which could be from the cleanse. It could be because we just get sick a lot. Like during the school year, we get sick a lot too, which made it harder to want to continue on the cleanse because we were tired, our throat hurt, like, and we were just working all the time. But we did it. Nonetheless, right? Yeah, we did it. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of ourselves. I'm pretty proud of us. I was like, I felt my skin clear up. Like, I I did lean out in my stomach. So I'm pretty happy with the way the cleanse went. And it, like he said, like, it, it kind of just got us kick-started um, on the discipline aspect. I'm like, now, so when we get back, we're ready to use my fitness pal right, and, right. and meal plan and meal prep and all of that. So pretty excited about it going off what he said um another huge factor i took from this was that you have to remember that like your lifestyle how she said it before she did this cleanse before and it worked one way for her but now you have to factor in that like now she has two jobs she has an apartment we were planning to leave for texas like there were so many other like variables that was involved in this one that weren't the case last time like you know what i'm saying like and that's a huge thing that like i understand and i take away from it as well and like i feel like people don't really understand that life is still happening when you diet it's not like life stops like so if you're having cravings because you're not eating as much or you're in a caloric defi deficit so you're getting moody all that stuff like that's still happening to you because you're on your own diet and you're on your own fitness journey but you still have to account for going to work waking up like still being supportive to your friends and family you know what i'm saying like so that was another huge thing that like I don't think we really factored in as much because we was just thinking like, oh yeah, we're gonna just do this cleanse, um, go to the gym as much as we can and have each other as a support system. But we weren't realizing like, we gotta work, like we can get sick, we gotta like kind of like account for Texas and other things that like we didn't really foresee. And I feel like that played a huge, huge, huge part in like how this cleanse went for us this time around as well. And I think like that was definitely a good point and why like it wasn't we didn't it, i'm not even gonna say like it wasn't a success but it just wasn't the same as like when we did it previously as for right now uh t just trying to get some new contacts she just went to the eye doctor we're at planet fitness right now we're about to get a workout in we're just like that we haven't been vlogging as much really because like think about it t's back in texas she hasn't been back here in like seven months since like last thanksgiving so it's really like catching up with family and friends running errands like it's just a lot of stuff i haven't been to texas ever so she's showing me around it's just a lot of stuff and like once again we didn't factor this in it to try to vlog. and like we'd like okay we're gonna just vlog but like there's just so much going on with so movie 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 and like yeah, it's been just mainly family stuff like yeah. hanging out with my niece my brothers we my little my not little my youngest brother graduated brother high school yesterday, yesterday. he's the last amazing. one of us so now my parents got all you, the grown you kids. guys seen her second oldest brother yeah we did a workout with him the yeah. other day um brutal in this texas heat plus we're sick i couldn't even i said breathe. oldest second second youngest, youngest. second yeah. youngest brother i have four brothers it's like my brother anthony and my brother dorian me and my brother eric and my brother trevor exactly so. So you guys to meet them. <laughs> yeah, like I've I've met Eric before, um, a long time ago. But like now it's like more intimate, and like we get to have conversations. He does photography, like I said in the past clip. Um, so we got to talk like entrepreneurship, business, and running your own like company, being your own brand, um, business brand and personal brand. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like I love this trip. It's amazing thus far. Like I have we have a couple days left, but like it's just been like i i'm glad her family's just accepting me with just open arms like it's amazing like it's like everybody's like calling me like you safe like you good like they didn't kill you yet because like like she <laughs> says she has like it's male dominant completely and like just me just going in there like all right i'm the new boyfriend and it's like okay who are you you know what i'm saying like what is your intentions with my daughter it's not even like that though like that's how everybody's like seeing it and thinking that it's gonna happen but Only it's more my like my grandfather <laughs> yeah but he's still joking around like he's he's loving his humor is a force like he is hilarious like i really like and that's what upsets me so much about not being able to vlog because i want to capture these moments so bad because some of these people are like characters like you really have to be able to catch them on camera like and they're like it's hilarious it's hilarious but nonetheless like i'm saying like it's amazing like they're accepting me with open arms and making me feel so at home especially for not being in texas for the first time southern hospitality is a real thing um i'm eating great seconds desserts like I, 
you can ask her i don't do desserts i'm a i'm haitian for those who may not know so in my household we don't do desserts we just do like a whole bunch of rice and all this other carbs and stuff like that like i barely even do veggies like like my household not really me but like so getting desserts and seconds is just amazing and i'm excited and i'm happy and i'm just blessed 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 um other than that um this trip is like i said it's just been amazing we have a couple more people we have to just be meeting um we are trying to go to alpha elite gym for those who know christian um he just had his summer classic summer shredding classic thing um we're trying to just go to the gym to get a workout in that's like a three hour drive from where t lives so that's gonna be like a whole day thing uh, we're still debating on if we want to do that whatever we have in this vlog i really hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe what is that bottom I don't even know. I think it's Three. I think it's this side. Yeah. Down here. Subscribe. Hit the bell button. Turn on our post <laughs> notifications. Um, we post weekly every Sunday. Um, and yeah, like, thank you guys for just really being a part of the community and the fam, the little fam, because like it's so not easy vlogging all the time. It's so not easy trying to like like capture every moment having a camera in people's faces or in our face or whatever the case may be. So like anybody who's like taking their time out their day to watch these videos or to like it leave a comment tell a friend even dm us telling us how they felt about it or that they're starting their own thing because they got inspired by us that's all amazing we love it so much and like thank you just thank you just thank you thank you thank you so yeah we're gonna go work out um and if this concludes the vlog or like this has an ending this might sort of be the ending thank you so much for watching we love you guys but if not, enjoy the rest of the video. And like I said before, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's lit. It's lit. Dudes, boy. day three or day four of the vlog um it's been a lot um i just finished on as you can see in my little road this is teaser it's lit it's crazy small but um i'm excited to just be in a robe i don't have no robes back at home but i just finished on because we just came from aquatica it's a part of sea world here in texas um it was fun like i am afraid of heights so i don't do roller coasters and all that good stuff but this was like water slides it worked some of them were kind of high but it was like whatever um hold on so yeah some of the slides were kind of high but nothing too serious i had fun i did it with t majority of them so i was excited excuse the glare in my lens of my glasses it's because there's a window right here in front of me i'm trying to get the best light in this room and you know you know the angle but anyways yeah so like we had a quadico went to that today we're going out to lunch or dinner with someone later t went to go get some cute little facials with her mother that's lit what we talked about before when i said i was gonna go to alpha elite gym that's not happening because that's just a th from san antonio to sugar land it's a three hour drive so three hours there work out do whatever mingle that could be like two hours and then three hours back it's just a lot it's like a good solid eight hours out of a day that we just don't really have much time to just like you know allocate to something like that it's fine with me i came down here to spend time with t and see her family which is again why i wanted to like end off this vlog with this little clip about just a face to face with me talking without t this is because this whole experience was about me coming down here meeting the family me and t has been dating for today is the 18th so like 
in about a week or so a week and a half it's gonna be 11 months and then next month is our first year so like you know things are getting serious like they've been serious like she's the love of my life um definitely getting married to her that's my that's where i'm starting a family at so um with that being said it was just time for me to meet her family like she's met my family you know what i'm saying like all that good stuff because she's in boston so her family's out in texas so it's a little harder for them to really come down to see her and stuff like that they are gonna come down when she graduates so i just thought like yeah why not like i have some free time her brother was graduating high school so i was like you know what perfect opportunity let's go meet the fam so this was this was that experience for me you could as you could see from the title of the vlog um and it was lit like i'm like I know from like movies and stuff like that and like all those type of like shows and stories and whatever it is they try to make you feel like it's like complete anxiety and like nervousness and like it's hostility like the dad and stuff like that and all, all the male counterparts of the family like want to attack you um it wasn't really like that for me like everybody was super welcoming southern hospitality is a thing like i said before um they made me feel so at home like it's crazy and like every day i wake up i pray and i call my family and i tell them like how happy i am and like it's just been an amazing experience and like i've traveled before and things don't always go as planned but like this was one of those trips where like it has just been amazing like i'm trying foods i had water burger yesterday w-h-a-t-a -A burger um anybody who's foreign to that it is amazing like i definitely highly recommend you to try it wherever you find it and wherever you're from um it's lit and that was amazing i went to a main event which is like a, a type of like a david dave and busters type of thing and like they have arcade games they have bowling they have like this gravity rope thing they have laser tag like it was amazing i slaughtered in bowling i beat uh t and trevor which is our little brother that graduated but yeah like it was just lit like this has trip has just been everything and more and like i'm happy like i got to meet the family i got to just be myself like and that's why like if the vlogs suffer a little bit like understand it's just been hard trying to like you can't really just put cameras in people's faces like there's just one of these things that comes with vlogging it's not really one of those things where you could just be like oh yeah i'm vlogging and people are gonna be like, okay yeah cool but they don't want you like they're like that's your business you know what i'm saying like they don't really want the camera in their face they don't want you really recording like their privacy like their homes you know what i'm saying so that's why you don't really you're not gonna see that much clips of that but you guys have met, met sage you guys have met eric we've done the best we can with this vlog i really hope you guys enjoy it because i have so if any part of this vlog you enjoy please smash that thumbs up button leave a comment share it and definitely subscribe to our channel because Yo, we putting out the best content, you know what I'm saying? We're doing this consistent. We're making sure we're doing it every Sunday. Well, the uploads. You guys, by the time you see this vlog, I, I would have been back already. Me and T, so. But yeah, like, I just really just wanted to wrap it up with that. Like, this trip has just been amazing. I'm so happy I came. I don't regret it at all, taking off work, losing a little bit of cash, which, you know, when we get back, it's just straight grind mode. Getting to see T, like, T's little like childhood home and room and like just how she's like grown up into the person she is today because as you've seen in the previous vlogs like she just got an apartment so like this is so like crazy you know what I'm saying so I'm excited um I'm happy when she comes back we're gonna go get some food and just chill for the rest of like we have one more day tomorrow but like our flight's at two so we're leaving here at like around 12 31 so basically today's our last solid day and we're chilling. It's been amazing. Like, it's been just beautiful. Also, just wanted to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I know I'm a day late, but like, it's whatever. And whenever you see this, it'd be like a week late, but still, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Anybody who's taking care of their child, who's not just, you know, posting it for social media, but who's actually showing up to events and showing up for their kid. I love my father, so I had to get that in there. Other than that, like I said, thank you so much for watching the vlog. Hopefully the lighting is not being weird. It's getting a little weird outside. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. Uh, I am going to end it with a short video clip of that commercial thing we was working on with Evan. Um, we talked about it like three vlogs ago. You kind of seen a little a little snippet of it. We was working on it. We had a we shot it at one location, had to redo it, and then shot it somewhere else. So this is the final product. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I don't know if it would have been on our Instagram already. If not, go... To our Instagram at Lit to Lift, L I T, the number two, L I F T. Go follow us on Instagram, go follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, all that good stuff. And yeah, so enjoy the next clip. This is a short little commercial thing we did. Let us know what you think, you know what I'm saying? Comment below, 
DM us, let us know. So without further ado, enjoy and please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the vlog. Stay and watch the rest of this. <laughs> Come on, you can't completely finish journey with that attitude. You and I both know you're capable of achieving much more. Let's find your inner beast. Yeah, but it's too much work. I get lazy sometimes. W became great from sitting at home and complaining. You're not doing this alone. We're your support system to the very end. Well, if I don't see any changes later, then what? The sooner you start, the sooner you see it. Consistency and determination are all it takes to be great. Join us to be phenomenal or be forgotten. The choice is yours. 